Joining me now on this episode of Local Resource EP is Marisa Sanchez, owner of Empire Cookies EP. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. <laughs> good. How are you, Ray? I'm doing good. I just thank you so much for joining me today. I been, I've been wanting to get you on for so long because uh, number one, we've known each other for a really long time, and number two, your cookies are amazing. Reg- uh, thank, you. I, thank you for asking me and giving me this opportunity as well. And I know you reached out a long time ago, and I kind of just I saw it and I got a little nervous, but <laughs> you know, here I am and. And I'm an open book, so whatever you like to know. <laughs> no, I, I, I just, you know, I, 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 I started this, this, uh, this little video podcast for a while ago during when the pandemic first started, just to try to help promote uh, local businesses. And I mean, you're one of the first ones I ever thought of. And uh, because of the amazing work you do, I just wanted to be able to like share it with everyone I could. First, let me just, I just want to ask, um, you know, how did you get started in, uh, in, in the, how did you get started in your business or, or where'd you get the idea from? Well, you know, I've always enjoyed the kitchen very much. And, you know, since I was a little girl being in the kitchen with my grandmother and my mom, but never really baking until maybe I was, I was 16 or 17 years old. And my best friend got pregnant when we were in high school. Mm-hmm. And then she asked me to be the godmother of her baby. And I was like, the godmother. So I accepted. And then the first birthday came around and she asked me if I could provide the cake. And I was like, oh, I was in high school. I didn't have a job. I didn't want to ask my parents for money to buy a cake. I come from a big family, like six brothers and sisters. So I know like asking them just for a cake would mean like a lot out of the budget. So I was like, I can't ask my parents for a cake. My best friend asked me for a cake for her daughter. What am I gonna do? So I was like, I'm gonna make a cake. So I did, and that was the first cake I made. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed it a lot. And I started off this business doing cakes more. I wasn't into cookies. So then I started doing that and just, you know, just researching and reading books and learning about cake making. And then I wanna say about, Six or seven years ago, my husband and I, we went out to dinner to a local restaurant, Rulies, and um, they were giving away these sample cookies of decorated cookies. It was for Thanksgiving and they were shaped like little turkeys and little autumn leaves. And, and I saw them and I thought they were so cute. And then I tasted them and they were really, really good. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to know how to do this. And I didn't know what they were called. I got home and I Googled cookies with hard frosting and I didn't even know what they were called. (laughs) I just got on the computer and was Googling away until I finally came across these cookies similar to the ones I had. And from there, it kind of just exploded. I started going into YouTube videos, how to do things. And I tried a ton of different recipes that I didn't like because I couldn't get that taste that I had. Mm-hmm. So then I kind of just started making my own recipes for my cookies. And eventually I had my own recipe, my own icing recipe, watched a million YouTube videos, how to do it. And, and kind of just practice, practice, practice. You know, I think I, when I first started, the first cookies I made, you couldn't even tell what they were. But I was so proud of them. And I still am, you know, because that's where I, I began. And I look back at it and I see where I am now Mm -hmm. and just kind of just doing everything on my own and just researching and giving away a ton of cookies and throwing away a ton of cookies. Um, I'm really proud of my progression from where I first started not knowing anything about this business. And that's how we came to be. Eventually, like I had to come up with a business name, like with a business plan, you know, something because it kind of just was just snowballing just quickly <laughs> so uh how did you how did you come up with the name uh, and and like uh what, what was the idea behind it was was there anything <laughs> but that's kind of embarrassing oh but, um, <laughs> you know i thought of all these names and carlos helped me with all these names and then i'm like oh gosh it, it clicked on me like i'm building this cookie empire i need a really nice. good name so then we thought empire cookie like we're building a cookie empire so that's what it should be so that's what it is nice that's not embarrassing that's pretty awesome (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but we're not there at that cookie empire status yet, but we're working, we're working on that. <laughs> oh, that's because like a lot of people may still not have tasted your cookies and or your cakes. So I mean you we've we've been customers of yours for a while. We've had we've had your cookies and your cakes, and then I, I'm I know a lot of times I say this, especially I've had like a few people with restaurants and stuff saying that their stuff is delicious, but I mean I'm one of those that I, I'm not going to say it unless I really mean it, but your cakes and your, and your cookies are just, they're, they're, they're amazing. And they taste well, good. Thank you, Ray. That really, really means a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, thank and you. and I, I just want to ask, I mean, is there a, like a, a busy, what's the busiest time of year for you in the, in the cookie, in the cookie empire for you? Okay. So um, the busiest times used to be like Valentine's and Christmas. Mm-hmm. But I want to say within the last two years, um, I'm busy the whole year round. So I'm usually booked like two months out. Yeah. Like if you want to, if you were to order today, you have to be ordering for April. Right. So like it's busy all year round, but still I would say um, Christmas and Valentine's and Halloween are my busiest days. And May, Mother's Day is fairly busy too, but I try not to do a lot because my son's birthday is May 5th. Mm -hmm. And um, we're usually planning birthday party or going out of town for his birthday. And um, it's very time consuming making cookies. Like the whole process of it is very time consuming. So I tend to stay away like from Mother's Day and those other, other holidays, but concentrate mostly on Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. That's a... That that sounds pretty busy, and I I I can't even imagine what it could be like just making and baking away in your kitchen. Yes, I mean I mean you've been to my house. My kitchen is tiny, you know, and mm -hmm. it's crazy how many. I think like for Christmas we did like fifteen hundred cookies. Wow! And we just <laughs> bake that amount of cookies. I had to go buy myself like a double oven. Oh and um, these oversized cookie trays. So, man, we were churning out cookies day and night. It was mm -hmm. nuts. Like your own little Santa's mm -hmm. workshop there, but with cookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do a lot of cake out here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you what what's your what's your most ordered cook like? What is, what is your most requested and most ordered uh uh I guess item on your menu? Um. Well, I stopped doing cakes. I don't do. I just. Um, focus on cookies. I don't do anything else. Um, but as far as cookies, and you know, I used to do different flavor cookies, but it just got out of control. And you know, so now I just focus on my one, you know, shortbread cookie that I that I came up with. But um, the one that gets requested a lot, it would be like first birthday parties. I do a lot of first birthday party cookies. And the theme is always different from everybody. I try to encourage people to come up with, you know, they look at my page and they're like, well, we want this, this cookie. I'm like, okay, well, let's go with that theme, but let's do a different design for it. So the design is always changing. The themes may be the same, but the designs are, I try to encourage them to have different cookies. Right, like the, the last ones I saw on, like you had did, uh, I think they were from uh, uh, last year, but they're on your, on your, um on your Facebook page was uh, some Dumbo ones you did for, uh, uh, it was, uh, I guess it was a birthday party for Ava. Not yeah. my, but then yeah. those, those are looking amazing. Like I'll pop them yes. on the screen. Yeah. These cookies. I mean, the color, I mean, even though they're colored and, and decorated, they taste, they, the taste is still there. They still taste good. I mean, oh, I don't, I know a lot of people think, uh, you know, oh, they look decorated and, and this and that, and probably takes away from the taste. It doesn't on yours. I mean, they're so good. And all, I, I honestly think all the cookies you've made for um, Ava or for Jeter, we I, we probably still have one somewhere in the house because no one. You know, it's funny you say that, Ray, because a lot of my customers are like, well, um, we're not going to eat them. We're going to have them at the party. We're not going to eat them. We're just going to save them. I'm like, no, like I took a long time to make them. Yeah. Eat them. <laughs> yeah, and they taste good. I mean, it's so awesome. And I think the, my favorite one um, was a couple of years ago for Valentine's Day. Uh, you made uh, like uh, tapes, like oh, cookies. Yes, the and mixed it, cake. And it was so awesome because you made them kind of custom for me because I know like my wife, she's 
uh, gluten free and you were nice enough to do that for her. And they, they just came out so cool and they were so, they were still so delicious. And I, I think those have been my favorite ones. Those are my favorite ones that oh, you well, thank you. So somebody found those on my, I want to say Pinterest page. Mm -hmm. So now like I have a, a big order for the mixtape cookies for this year, this Valentine's as well too. And I want to say those were probably in the, the first couple of years that I was making cookies too, mm -hmm. you know, but now um, this year, those are, are big this year too, again. So cool. I'm excited to custom make those for everybody with their names on there. It's kind of cool, you know, a little retro. And Yeah, I like them. It was so fun. I mean, it was, it was great to get them and, and also even better to eat them. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, and, cool. I, I know you kind of touched on a little bit, but um, for those that are wanting to know, like if they want to order for a party or special event, uh, what's usually your timeline that you want them to put in their order so that you can get that order done on time and not have to rush and or even even charge extra? But what, what you kind of what, what do you, you think? Know, for a while, it was like the rush order. But then, I mean, even though I was charging that, mm -hmm. I didn't have the time to do it because I had so many other orders. So now it's like you know, I can't charge a rush order fee because I just don't have the time to do it. Right. But I would say about two months out from, from your event mm -hmm. would be would be good. Um, except if it's around um, a, you have an event during February or during December or around Halloween. Right. <laughs> um, I block off those days because I just have so many orders for those holidays already. But about two to three months ahead of your event would be would be pretty safe that I can fill you in. And then too, you know, because I work from home, right. I set my own schedule and we like to travel a lot. So like during the summer, I'm very limited as to what I take because we do like to take a lot of impromptu trips or day trips and um, so, if you give me enough notice, two to three months, then I can fit it in and I know that I have to be in town to do, to do that order. Right. But yeah, two to three months is good. Well, that's good to know. And then th th this question is kind of just like, because of the times we're in, I mean, uh, has uh, uh, during uh, the pandemic and COVID, has it affected uh, people ordering or, or affected your business at all? So I would think that that would uh, have affected it. So when um, pandemic started, COVID started, um, last year it was like during spring break mm -hmm. in during March. Um, I had some orders for March already, you know, that I had committed to and for April that I had committed to. And then I myself um, stopped taking orders. Like I was like, cause you know, it was new back then. We didn't really know, you know, what was going on, what we could do, what we couldn't do but the orders still kept coming in and I declined a lot of orders like for the summer and we were pretty gone, we were gone the most of the summer anyway. But um, I can tell that the business was still, this, nothing had changed. Like people were still having parties, still doing whatever they were doing. And then when September came around, I started taking orders again. But no, I, because of COVID, I would think, you know, it would have slowed down, but on the contrary, since people are having birthday parades, mm -hmm. they're getting cookies out. Yeah. So instead of ordering just like 12 for the dessert table, they're now ordering like 75 cookies. So I would say business has gotten better mm -hmm. with COVID actually. Well, that, that's good to hear, especially with yeah. like, especially local businesses. I know a lot of people have been struggling and it's just so great to hear that like a business like yours is still doing well and you're still able to, uh, to, to do it. Especially, you know, like I've always been, a big promoter of local, a big promoter of local businesses. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad that you guys are doing well for yourselves. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. Well, uh, I, I know, uh, and uh, what are some of the social medias that they are that you're on that way people can go check them out and check you guys, check your work out. That way maybe they can get an idea of what you do and that way they can get in contact with you. You know, so I'm not really tech savvy or, you know, I don't know much about this world. So I'm pretty basic. Just, Facebook, Instagram, um, and Pinterest pretty much, nice. you know, but um, yeah, I just really just post my, my stuff on there and try to hashtag the best that I can, you know, <laughs> but you know, if people want to order, I usually, that's where I take my orders through there. Okay. Um, Instagram, I'm not really good at that. I just post my stuff on there. So I would really say 
through Facebook. Through awesome. My business Facebook page is where I get most of my orders from. And it's funny because like people all around the country, like I just assume everybody is just here in El Paso. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I learned this on really early in my cookie making. This girl had ordered um, whatever cookies it was. And she did it through my, my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And um, like a week before her event, she sends me an address. And it's like in California. And I'm like, <laughs> well, like what is this? And she's like, oh, this is you know where you're going to send them. I'm like, you're not in El Paso? She's like, no. I was like, oh, my God. So like I had to make those cookies like in a day and put them in the mail the next day. Oh man. So, yeah. yeah <laughs> it was, um, and that's just through my, my Facebook page, you know, right. so just those social media. I'm not really on. on no, that's, that's good. I, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll include all your social medias in the description below. So people can get a hold of you, check out your cookies and uh, hopefully they can order something from you soon because if they're not, they're missing out. So oh, all I got to say. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to say right before we, we end today that maybe I forgot to ask or something you'd like to mention? Um, no, just, you know, I started just doing this like on my own and just we're friends and family and, and it's gotten so big. So like, I'm really appreciative of like all of El Paso mm -hmm. who have contacted me. I know a lot of times I can't accommodate because I'm only one person, you know, and, and I do everything I try to hire a couple of people, but I'm just so, um, the details have to be to my standard, you know? And so the people I hired, I just, I couldn't give up the cookies, you know, I had to do them again. So I'm just on one person and um, I can't accommodate, you know, everyone who, who reaches out to me, but I try. Right. And I'm really appreciative of everyone here for our community. And, um, and I hope to work with, with everyone that I possibly can. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I, again, like if, if you can, uh, remember you got to put it in your order early, but if you can order some cookies yeah. from Lisa over at Empire Cookie, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I, I really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, hopefully I can put order in soon and get some for us. Cause I know we have a couple of birthdays coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking forward. Hopefully things get better too. And, uh, for for the pandemic stuff and then we'll be able to meet up yeah. again soon and hang out yeah i know i know we have yet to do that mm -hmm. we have yet to do that so hopefully sooner than later we'll be able to do that yes thank you and thanks so, thank you so much for joining me i really miss you guys and 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 you guys stay safe okay thank you ray you guys too say hi to everybody for us i will all right bye-bye